the first tenement new york knew bore the mark of cain from its birth though a generation passed before the writing was deciphered it was the rear house infamous ever after in our city's history there had been tenant houses before but they were not built for the purpose nothing would probably have shocked their original owners more than the idea of their harboring a promiscuous crowd for they were the decorous homes of the old knickerbockers the proud aristocracy of manhattan in the early days it was the stir and bustle of trade together with the tremendous immigration that followed upon the war of 1812 that dislodged them in 35 years the city of less than a hundred thousand came to harbor half a million souls for whom homes had to be found within the memory of men not yet in their prime washington had moved from his house on cherry hill as too far out of town to be easily reached now the old residents followed his example but they moved in a different direction and for a different reason their comfortable dwellings in the once fashionable streets along the east river front fell into the hands of real estate agents and boarding-house keepers and here says the report to the legislature of eighteen fifty seven when the evils engendered had excited just alarm in its beginning the tenant house became a real blessing to that class of industrious poor folk whose small earnings limited their expenses and whose employment in workshops stores or about the warehouses and thoroughfares render a near residence of much importance not for long however as business increased and the city grew with rapid strides the necessities of the poor became the opportunity of their wealthier neighbors and the stamp was set upon the old houses suddenly become valuable which the best thought and effort of a later age have vainly struggled to efface their large rooms were partitioned into several smaller ones without regard to light or ventilation the rate of rent being lower in proportion to space or height from the street and they soon became filled from cellar to garret with a class of tenantry living from hand to mouth loose in morals and provident in habits degraded and squalid as beckardly itself it was thus the dark bedroom prolific of untold depravities come into the world it was destined to survive the old houses and their new roles is the old report eloquent in its indignant denunciation of evils more destructive than wars they were not intended to last rents were fixed high enough to cover damage and abuse from this class from whom nothing was expected and the most was made of them while they lasted neatness order cleanliness were never dreamed of in connection with the tenant house system as it spread its localities from year to year while reckless slovenliness discontent privation and ignorance were left to work out their invariable results until the entire premises reached the level of tenant-house dilapidation containing but sheltering not the miserable hordes that crowded beneath mouldering water-rotted roofs or burrowed among the rats of clammy cellars yet so illogical is human greed at a later day when called to account the proprietors frequently urged the filthy habits of the tenants as an excuse for the condition of their property utterly losing sight of the fact that it was the tolerance of those habits which was the real evil and that for this they themselves were alone responsible still the pressure of the crowds did not abate and in the old garden where the stolid dutch burger grew as tulips or early cabbages a rear house was built generally of wood two stories high at first presently it was carried up another story and another where two families had lived ten moved in the front house followed suit if the brick walls were strong enough the question was not always asked judging from complaints made by a contemporary witness that the old buildings were often carried up to a great height without regard to the strength of the foundation walls it was rent the owner was after nothing was said in the contract about either the safety or the comfort of the tenants the garden gate no longer swung on its rusty hinges the shell-paved walk had become an alley what the rear house had left of the garden a court plenty such are yet to be found in the fourth ward with here and there one of the original rear tenements worse was to follow 
it was soon perceived by estate owners and agents of property that a greater percentage of profits could be realized by the conversion of houses and blocks into barracks and dividing their space into smaller proportions capable of containing human life within four walls blocks were rented of real estate owners or purchased on time or taken in charge at a percentage and held for the underletting with the appearance of the middleman wholly irresponsible and utterly reckless and unrestrained began the era of tenement building which turned out such blocks as gotham court where in one cholera epidemic that scarcely touched the clean wards the tenants died at the rate of one hundred and ninety-five to the thousand of population which forced the general mortality of the city up from one and forty one point eight three in eighteen fifteen to one and twenty seven point three three in eighteen fifty five a year of unusual freedom from epidemic disease and which wrung from the early organizers of the health department this wail there are numerous examples of tenement houses in which are lodged several hundred people that have a pro rata allotment of ground area is scarcely equal to two square yards upon the city lot courtyards and all included the tenement house population had swelled to half a million souls by that time and on the east side in what is still the most densely populated district in all the world china not excluded it was packed at the rate of two hundred and ninety thousand to the square mile a state of affairs wholly unexampled the utmost cupidity of other lands in other days had never contrived to herd much more than half that number within the same space the greatest crowding of old london was at the rate of one hundred and seventy five thousand eight hundred sixteen swine roamed the streets and gutters as their principal scavengers the death of a child in a tenement was registered at the bureau of vital statistics as plainly due to suffocation in the foul air of an unventilated apartment and the senators who had come down from albany to find out what was the matter with new york reported that there are annually cut off from the population by disease and death enough human beings to people a city and enough human labor to sustain it and yet experts had testified that as compared with uptown rents were from twenty five to thirty per cent higher in the worst slums of the lower wards with such accommodations as were enjoyed for instance by a family with boarders in cedar street who fed hogs in the cellar that contained eight or ten loads of manure or one room twelve by twelve with five families living in it comprising twenty persons of both sexes and all ages with only two beds without partition screen chair or table the rate of rent has been successfully maintained to the present day though the hog at least has been eliminated lest any one flatter himself with the notion that these were evils of a day that is happily past and may safely be forgotten let me mention here three very recent instances of tenement house life that came under my notice one was the burning of a rear house in mott street from appearances one of the original tenant houses that had made their owners rich the fire made homeless ten families who had paid an average of five dollars a month for their mean little cubby holes the owner himself told me that it was fully insured for eight hundred though it brought him in six hundred a year in rent he evidently considered himself especially entitled to be pitied for losing such valuable property another was the case of a hard-working family of man and wife young people from the old country who took poison together in a crosby street tenement because they were tired there was no other explanation and none was needed when i stood in the room in which they had lived it was in the attic with sloping ceiling and a single window so far out on the roof that it seemed to not belong to the place at all with scarcely room enough to turn around in they had been compelled to pay five dollars and a half a month in advance there were four such rooms in the attic and together they brought in as much as many a handsome little cottage in a pleasant part of brooklyn the third instance was that of a colored family of husband wife and baby in a wretched rear rookery in west third street their rent was eight dollars and a half for a single room on the top story so small that i was unable to get a photograph of it even by placing the camera outside the open door three short steps across either way would have measured its full extent there was just one excuse for the early tenement house builders and their successors may plead it with nearly as good right for what it is worth such says an official report 
is the lack of house room in the city that any kind of tenement can be immediately crowded with lodgers if there is space offered thousands were living in cellars there were three hundred underground lodging houses in the city when the health department was organized some fifteen years before that the old baptist church in mulberry street just up chatham street had been sold and the rear half of the frame structure had been converted into tenements that with their swarming population began the scandal even of that reckless age the wretched pile harbored no less than forty families and the annual rate of deaths to the population was officially stated to be seventy-five and one thousand these tenements were an extreme type of very many for the big barracks had by this time spread east and west and far up the island into the sparsely settled wards whether or not the title was clear to the land upon which they were built was of less account than that the rents were collected if there were damages to pay the tenant had to foot them cases were very frequent when property was in litigation and two or three different parties were collecting rents of course under such circumstances no repairs were ever made the climax had been reached the situation was summed up by the society for the improvement of the condition of the poor in these words crazy old buildings crowded rear tenements and filthy yards dark damp basements leaking garrets shops outhouses and stables converted into dwellings though scarcely fit to shelter brutes are habitations of thousands of our fellow beings in this wealthy christian city the city says its historian mrs martha lamb commenting on the era of aqueduct buildings between eighteen thirty five and eighteen forty five was a general asylum for vagrants young vagabonds the natural offspring of such home conditions overran the streets juvenile crime increased fearfully year by year the children's aid society and kindred philanthropic organizations were yet unborn but in the city directory was to be found the address of the american society for the promotion of education in africa 